So it's March 7th and in exactly one month from the day, April 7th, I will be hopefully crossing the finish line of the Berlin Half Marathon. And not just me, but the entire Klossy team because, you know, misery loves company. And it's not true. We're in it to win it, not actually win the half marathon. We're just winning it by like crossing the finish line. That's all we're aiming for. It's go time. This is 30 days leading up to a half marathon. Marathons and half marathons are hard no matter what your running background is. Even if you're a regular runner, a long distance run like that requires some additional prep. We wanted to show you that it's possible no matter where you're coming from. The Classy team is a perfect representation of every kind of runner. Let me introduce you to the team. Start oh the yeah. day with the run! Woo! Because we are running a half marathon in T minus. Ah! First, there's Anna Laura. She wasn't that much of a runner, but she started to get excited about it once the training was underway. I think I'm actually learning to like running. Is anyone else experiencing that same phenomenon? Then there's Sarah. She had never run any marathons, half marathons, or 5Ks, but let her be your inspiration if you're thinking about taking the leap. Helena, on the other hand, was our resident pro. Helena. But you've run a full marathon. She was our go-to for tips and tricks. Whatever side the stitch is on, when that leg hits the ground, you exhale. Nicolette played lacrosse in college, but... But she probably hasn't run in, like, since, since lacrosse. <laughs> She's your girl if you're getting ready to reawaken your athletic muscles. So what, do I, like, go up to the... Caroline was in the newbie category. Any races ever? No. Summer camp. Aside from the three-legged races at summer camp. Gina was a newbie too. I am excited. But not afraid of the challenge. I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid. Kelsey had run a 5K before, so she knew what she was in for. 5K? 5K. That's about it. The pigeons are literally about to attack you right now. Kelly played basketball at Harvard. Did you? I did not. <laughs> okay, wait, scratch that. But I know people who did. So. You know what? <laughs> yes, the mobile yeah. Same thing, right? Elena was a rower, so getting back into shape came naturally to her. I believe we're running 13 miles, the longest I ever ran the six miles last weekend. Kristen signed up to run the half marathon on her first day of work and crushed training. When did you sign up for this? Um, last Thursday. <laughs> Our girl Penny ran the New York City Marathon with me and she was ready to kick butt again. She was a resident researcher, digging into the science and keeping us all informed. Electrolytes and hydration, nothing carbonated before we fly and then when we fly. And then there was me. I ran the New York City Marathon in 2017. But when was the last time you really oh, ran? The last time I really ran was New York City Marathon 2017. So it's been a while. I got back on the wagon though and really inspired to run this half marathon, seeing the rest of the team put the work in. The link that held us all together was the will to do it. As a team of hardworking women ready to conquer the world, all we needed was each other's support. Knowing you're in the same boat with other people is a huge motivator. We kept each other accountable and cheered each other on every step of the way. Okay, morning Clawfish! LA Clawfish! LA Clawfish, this is Carlos in my first run. We're dying. And then it was off to the races. We started doing group runs together around New York, followed by Instagram photo shoots. I mean, obviously. Training starts today. Sometimes the first mile is the hardest. We just ran seven miles for the first time. Woo! No! We saw a dog on a skateboard. Dogs on skateboards. When Anna Laura, Penny, and I were in Paris, we went on a très chic run around scenic streets and gardens. People come here and literally just post up. Like, do they work? Do they have a job? I don't know. But they just come and chill in the park and live their best life and write poetry. And a side note, even a beautiful view doesn't always distract you from how winded you are, but it helps. Um, now we, we hosted weekly trainings at the Mile High Run Club, which is basically a treadmill workout. So like a week and a half until race day. Woo! And yes, we were exactly as sweaty as we looked. Not funny, not funny. <laughs> I'm really not in shape for the marathon. No. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be great. Mind over matter. I was so impressed with the entire team for committing to this challenge. 
Everyone was working really hard as a team and on their own, even going for runs in unfamiliar places. We got lost <laughs> in our jog, and now we're Ubering to brunch. <laughs> Before we knew it, the time had come. Where are we going? We jumped on a plane, crossed the Atlantic to run 13.1 miles. Yeah. Travel light to Berlin. All to raise money for a cause near and dear to so many of us, Code of Classic. So Adidas, thank you for getting us there. Guten Tag, Berlin. Is that how you say it? Guten Tag? Guten Tag. I do not think I could learn German. Berlin, guten Tag. Last one in before the run. Off the plane, getting a quick run in. Some queen bee. I'm doing a quick jog to the Berlin Wall, getting my legs warm up. Be ready for tomorrow. All right, the night before the marathon, half a marathon. Every closet here is hard loading. Pizza, pizza. When in Germany, have time. <laughs> <laughs> there is a piano in our room, which we took full advantage of. I tried not to outshine Kelly with my uh, musical talent. Modern world. up in Berlin on race day and it was beautiful. Rise and shine! We're going on a run! Get excited! It's happening! The sun was out and it wasn't too hot or too cold. Then it switched to a tank top. I feel good about it. After a hearty and nutritious team breakfast. About 20 minutes ago, I hardly even shoveled some granola into my mouth. We were off to the race. Ready to run. The rest of the crew is really ready to run. <laughs> Hello, good morning. morning. On our way to mile one. <laughs> We're on our way to mile With the crew. Woo! I'm so amped. This is my first marathon ever. Yeah. <laughs> the most crucial component of marathon chic. No, why do the thing so you big? You rip it The band Garlic. and the wristband. That's crazy. Where her hand becomes the size of her wrist. The energy was infectious. They played lots of pump-up dance music, some in German, and they probably helped get us out of our heads a little bit too. Ready, set, go! It was amazing to run a half marathon surrounded by thousands of people because you're energized by everything that's going on and you're distracted by the people around you, the things that you're looking at. I mean, for me, the hardest part of the whole half marathon was the last mile. It felt like eternity. Really, it was just pure willpower that pushed me across the finish line. Ah, this shit's a lot harder than it looks on paper. After we crossed the finish line, they gave us medals to wear, which we all wore proudly for the rest of the week, basically. And we went and had a nice, in German form, a nice beer and uh, celebrated Kelsey's birthday. So it was a really special trip to Berlin. It's time to dig into some food. And if you're Carly, that means Dunkin' Donuts. <laughs> we have our entire Kelsey team and it's just really special. This is a really cool experience that we will all remember for the rest of our lives. I was so proud of the team. As everyone crossed the finish line, I knew that it meant different things to everyone. For me, running is, is such a metaphor in my mind of being able to set your mind on a goal and even when it gets tough and, and it feels like you can't do it, pushing through, it's really all in your head in running and in life. Nothing gets easier, you just get stronger. 
your boundaries are only what you make them. You really can do anything you set your mind to if you put the work in and surround yourself with good people who push you to be your best version of yourself, then you can accomplish it. <laughs> Team Classy, we're doing Brooklyn in May. Okay. Hello. <laughs>